Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Take a look at these quilts around me. I am surrounded by cuddle fabric. Cuddle fabric is put out by Shannon Fabrics and it is the softest, most amazing fabric ever. And they sent me a whole bunch of quilts to show you and I just wanted to show them all. So I have a, as many out as I could get out I put up here. Now this is a really, really fun and quick way to make a baby quilt. But, but quilters are often intimidated by a different type of fabric. Cuddle is a knit fabric and, uh, and so it's, you know, it's a little bit different to work with but I didn't want you to be intimidated. So I'm going to walk you through this myself. Now, if you go to make one of these, you don't have to buy yardage because they come in kits just like this. And so they have a little pattern with them and they come in a kit. And I'm just going to go through this just like you'd go through it if you were making it. And so this is the quilt. I think, I haven't actually opened the kit yet, but I think this is the quilt we're going to work on today. And, um, and so let's see how they did it because this is just really fun. Now I'm going to move this so we have a little more. Uh, view even though that Scotty dog is so cute. Here's our little pattern. It's going to show us on the front what it looks like and what we hope ours looks like at the end. <laughs> it has a page of general instructions. Uh, now one of the cool things about this is that um, because it's a little different for uh, quilters to work with. Shannon has all kinds of tips and tricks for working with this cuddle fabric on their site and there'll be links for that in the in the description below and you might want to go check those out because it really it's going to be really helpful to you. Alright so now I'm untying this. Let's see what we're going to get. Alright I'm just going to slide it off. I don't have the, the fingernails to pull that knot out. All right, we're unrolling this. And this is what you get in your kit. You're going to get your little piece of your um, animal fabric. You're going to get your backing. Wait, this is actually the, the, uh, the binding, I think. This is going to be your backing with these little nubbies on it. And this is also, this is going to be the front and then this is going to be your little accent strip. So you're going to get all these little pieces, but let me show you how they work together. So let's set our backing aside and our binding aside right now. And um, let me move this out here a little bit. Oh, I'll just move it over here so you can actually see what we're doing here. All right, so let's look it up. Now, this is a mini chevron right here and you can see what they've done on this right here is they have cut this out to match the look of the chevron. So we're going to do that and we have to find the bottom of our quilt. One of the things you want to remember with cuddles is that it has a nap. Now a nap on fabric means that you can, if you brush it one way it lays smooth and if you brush it the other way it gets all rumpledy. You can see how rumpledy that is. But then if you brush it this way it just lays right back down. That's a nap when your fabric goes different directions and you want to pay attention to that because you want your nap um, going down toward the bottom. So this is the bottom down here and we're going to cut this so that we have an even zigzag line all along. Now the easiest way to do that is going to be with scissors. So I am going to just trim this right here and stay on the line with any luck. So there's my last one and your little quilt should look like this. There we go. So we've trimmed those chevrons off and they just look adorable. Alright, so we're going to go back to our, um, our, our directions now and we're going to say to make sure that the nap faces downward, we're going to lay this edge on top of and slightly over the edge of our line. Now this is kind of fun because this top right here is just going to go up over this right here. Just like that. 
And we want to check our nap again to make sure it's all running the same direction. I'm so glad they put that in there because those are the details that I kind of forget about. So we're going to check the nap again. We're going to carefully lift up the edge of the chevron and we're going to position it so that we can spray a little slight spray of temporary adhesive. So this is basting spray, quilting basting spray. And I suppose you could pin it or something like that, but they suggested doing a little bit of that. So this is what we're going to do. I am actually going to flip this over right here so that I can just spray a little bit on here. I don't want it to get on anything else and I just want it to be on the edge of this. You'll probably want to lay some paper down. I have this nice mat so I can do that. And then I'm going to flip this back over right here and I'm going to lay this down on my green accent piece. Hopefully it'll stick on there. One of the nice things about basting spray is that because it's um, uh, you can, I mean, if you get it wrong, you can lift it up and reapply it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to still work. So we're going to, whoa, we got our peaks sticking down here. There we go. We're going to pull those out, make sure that's nice and lines up. Don't want any rumples in it. All right, now that's all laid down in there really nice. All right, let's see what we do next. Um, so we're going to smooth it in place and we're going to stitch this in place with a blanket stitch or a zigzag. The reason that the, this basting spray works so well is because um, now it's not moving anywhere. So you could pin it or other things, but this works really well. See, I can just pick this up and go right to my sewing machine and uh, I'm going to find a zigzag stitch that I like. And we are going to, uh, actually you have to make sure your needle's threaded. That's a really good point. Sometimes I get over here and I'm like, whoa. All right, so you can blanket stitch this. You can zigzag it. I'm going to zigzag mine. One of my favorite things about, um, about this uh, uh, cuddle cloth is that it's so forgiving. So, like, honestly, I have made things before where, um, where I actually, where I've actually, um, used a different color thread and you lose the thread in there. You don't even hardly see the thread. You know, now I would say match it, you know, but, uh, but you really don't really see the thread in this, which I love. It's very forgiving. So I'm just going to keep zigzagging along here. And every time you get to the point, you pivot. And this makes that, um, boy, that Spray, spray basting is so handy because it just holds it on there. No pins. So we've done that first little part. Look at that. Came out so nice. Now let's see what our next part is. So now um, we are going to, oh, now we mark our chevron just an inch up and we're going to cut the same little chevron out of this, this green fabric and just mark it, what does it say, three quarters of an inch from the bottom. So what they're going to have us do that. So we're going to mark this three quarters of an inch and then we're going to come up and we're just going to cut it exactly like the other one. Like that. This is kind of fun. All right, so we just finished our second row of chevrons, and now we're going to do the same thing, only we're going, to, we're going to do it to this animal fabric, like this. We're going to lay this on. We want to make sure, again, that our naps are all going the same direction, so you get to pet this cuddle a lot, and it just feels so cute. All right, so here's that, 
And then what we have to do again is use our basting spray. And you don't want to get this on the rest of your fabric. So again, I'm just going to kind of turn it over and just be super careful with it. There we go. And then I'm going to make sure my nap is going the same way. Like this. Let's see. Make sure all of our little points stay up. And this is laid nice and flat. Nap's going the right direction. Pat down our cuddle. Oh, it's a little crooked, so I'm going to lift that up. Let me see how far up I'm here. I can go down a little bit. All right. Make sure that stays on there. If you feel nervous about it at all, you can stick some pins in there. And then we're just going to zigzag this one just like we did the other one. So let's go on over to the sewing machine. So now we've got the top done. You can see that we have a little bit off over here, so we're going to want to square that up. But we're going to look at the directions and see what they want us to do. Uh, let's see, we've got it over. We've got the focal fabric. The nap is lined up right. We're going to stitch it in place. We're going to trim our excess. So we're going to come back here and trim this. And that's a good idea. So we're just going to trim this off right here. And some of it is still, uh, I've got my, my sticky on there. So just pull it up from there. It's not going to hurt anything. This stuff is awesome because you can sew right through it and it doesn't even affect your needle. If you have the right kind. So then I'm going to trim the green one too. Let me go ahead and I'm going to line up one side of this. Make sure it's nice and straight. And I'm going to line that up. And because I have it, because I have it folded, it enables me to, I think, uh, cut it a little more even. See, I can see right here, you know, I've got this little place where it goes in. And so I'm just going to keep the rest of it nice and straightly folded. Be really careful when you do this because you really don't want to, you know, cut this too far in and mess this up. So. We're just going to go ahead and trim this off right here. It should really all lay out evenly, but for some reason mine didn't, and maybe I just pulled it a little too hard or something like that. So now what you have is you have a finished little top. So then you're going to lay it on your background. And honestly, I can't believe how fast this went and how easily it went together. So here's our backing right here. And this, this is really cool because it doesn't take any... Uh, any um, uh, batting, I couldn't think of the word, fluff, you know that fluff, that stuff. It doesn't take any of that. So we're going to lay our batting down, our backing down, and it says to go ahead and spray your backing with adhesive so that it, it'll temporarily hold it down. So we're just going to spray it a little bit here. This is, uh, I know my daughter uses that spray adhesive all the time for, um, uh, machine quilting and so it goes together real easily. Now I'm going to lay this on here and I'm going to keep most of the animals I want to get m the animals mostly on here so I think I'm going to end up cutting a little bit of that off the end but I want to get the animals on. I want to get it centered up and make sure we got this centered. We don't want to go off to a side All right, now what I want to do here is I'm going to flip this over because this is a little rumply back here. I kind of figured it would be. I'm going to roll it up, pull it a little straight. And again, check your nap to make sure it's all going the same direction. You're going to trim off this 
this extra piece right here. Now yours may end up just the same size and that's fine. Just watch it and make sure that you know you're, you're going to be the same size because now all you're going to do is bind it and you're going to put your binding on the exact same way as you would any other quilt. So this is so fun and quick. So all you have to do now is put the binding on it. You're going to sew it on by machine and it's going to be done. You can wash it in cool water and, and dry. I mean, I have used mine uh, uh, just, I love them. I love the feel of it. I love the cuddliness of it. I really love these baby ones. I love that they went ahead and put some uh, applique on them here, the little giraffe head, the duck. Look at this princess crown. I mean, they're just so cute. And so I, you know, I just, I just love that they're this easy. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this all so it's square, even. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my piece of binding into binding strips. And we're just going to put our binding on our thick quilt and it's going to be done. So I hope you enjoyed making this quick and easy baby blanket. It really went to it went together fast and I hope that this video takes some of that fear and trepidation out of working with cuddle cloth. It is awesome to work with and it just makes just the most beautiful soft and cuddly quilts ever. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi it's Jenny. We just finished shooting this tutorial on these wonderful blankets made with cuddle fabric and we noticed a few subtle differences when it came to the binding. So we decided that we would shoot an entire another video on how to bind using the cuddle fabric and if you'd like to see that you can click right here on this video or you can go over to Talk Quilting and check it out. Thanks for joining us.